The Bradford protein assay is a spectroscopic analytical procedure used to measure the concentration of protein in a solution. It is subjective, that is, dependent on the amino acid composition of the measured protein. The Bradford protein assay was developed by Marion M. Bradford. Principle The Bradford assay, a colorimetric protein assay, is based on an absorbance shift of the dye Kumasi Brilliant Blue G215 which under acidic conditions the red form of the dye is converted into its blue herb form to bind to the protein being assayed. During the formation of this complex, two types of bond interaction take place, the red form of Kumasi dye first donates its free electron to the ionizable groups on the protein, which causes a disruption of the protein's native state, consequently exposing its hydrophobic pockets. These pockets in the protein's tertiary structure bind non-covalently to the non-polar region of the dye via van der Waals forces, positioning the positive M groups in proximity with the negative charge of the dye. The bond is further strengthened by the ionic interaction between the two. The binding of the protein stabilizes the blue form of the Kumasi dye. Thus the amount of the complex present in solution is a measure for the protein concentration, and can be estimated by use of an absorbance reading. The form of the dye has an absorption spectrum maximum historically held to be at 595 nanometers. The cationic forms are green or red. The binding of the dye to the protein stabilizes the blue anionic form. The increase of absorbance at 595 nm is proportional to the amount of bound dye, and thus to the amount of protein present in the sample. And like other protein assays, the Bradford protein assay is less susceptible to interference by various chemicals that may be present in protein samples. An exception of note is elevated concentrations of detergent. Sodium dodecyl sulfate, a common detergent, may be found in protein extracts because it is used to lyse cells by disrupting the membrane lipid bilayer. While other detergents interfere with the assay at high concentration, the interference caused by SDS is of two different modes and each occurs at a different concentration. When SDS concentrations are below critical missile concentration in a Kumasi dye solution, the detergent tends to bind strongly with the protein, inhibiting the protein binding sites for the dye reagent. This can cause underestimations of protein concentration in solution. When SDS concentrations are above CMC, the detergent associates strongly with the green form of the Kumasi dye, causing the equilibrium to shift, thereby producing more of the blue form. This causes an increase in the absorbance at 595 nanometers independent of protein presence. Other interference may come from the buffer used when preparing the protein sample. A high concentration of buffer will cause an overestimated protein concentration due to depletion of free protons from the solution by conjugate base from the buffer. This will not be a problem if a low concentration of protein is used. Disadvantages The Bradford assay is linear over a short range, typically from 0 AA microgram ml to 2000 AA microgram ml, often making dilutions of a sample necessary before analysis. It is also inhibited by the presence of detergents. Much of the non-linearity stems from the equilibrium between two different forms of the dye which is perturbed by adding the protein. The Bradford assay linearizes by measuring the ratio of the absorbances, 595 over 450 nanometers. This modified Bradford assay is approximately 10 times more sensitive than the conventional one. Sample Bradford procedure, materials, lyophilized bovine plasma gamma globulin, Kumasi Brilliant Blue 1, 0.15 mnacl, spectrophotometer and tubes, micropipettes, procedure. Prepare a series of protein standards diluted with 0.15 mnacl to final concentrations of 0, 250, 500, 750 and 1500 a microgram ml. Also prepare serial dilutions of the unknown sample to be measured. Add 100 a microliter of each of the above to a separate test tube. Add 5.0 milliliters of Kumasi blue to each tube and mix by vortex, or inversion. Adjust the spectrophotometer to a wavelength of 595 nanometers, and blank using the tube which contains no protein. Wait 5 minutes and read each of the standards and each of the samples at 595 nanometers wavelength. 
plot the absorbance of the standards versus their concentration. Compute the extinction coefficient and calculate the concentrations of the unknown samples. Procedure Prepare standard concentrations of protein of 1, 5, 7.5 and 10 a microgram ml. Prepare a blank of NaCl only. Prepare a series of sample dilutions. Add 100 a microliter of each of the above to separate tubes and add 1.0 milliliter of Kumasi blue to each tube. Turn on and adjust a spectrophotometer to a wavelength of 595 nanometers, and blank the spectrophotometer using 1.5 milliliters cubets. Wait 2 minutes and read the absorbance of each standard and sample at 595 nanometers, plot the absorbance of the standards versus their concentration. Compute the extinction coefficient and calculate the concentrations of the unknown samples. Alternative assays Alternative protein assays include ultraviolet or eurovisible spectroscopy, biorec protein assay, Lowry protein assay, BCA protein assay, amido black protein assay. References Bradford, M.M., Rapid and Sensitive Method for the Quantitation of Microgram Quantities of Protein Utilizing the Principle of Protein Dye Binding, Anal. Biochem 72, 248 Euro 254, DOI. 10.1016 slash 0003 2697, 76, 90527 3, PMIDA 942051 A, Zor, T. Selinger, Z. Linearization of the Bradford protein assay increases its sensitivity, theoretical and experimental studies, anal. Biochem 236, 302 Euro 308, DOI. 10.1006 slash A bio. 1996.0171, PMIDA 8660509A, Noble, J. E. Bailey, M. J. A. Quantitation of Protein, Methods Enzymal 463, 73 Euro 95, DOI, 10.1016 per second 0076 6879, 09, 63008 1A, external links, Bradford Assay Chemistry, Variable Path Length Spectroscopy, Open Wetware.